In type of REM, we can handle specific events in our entities using custom logic by defining methods that we can mark using any of these decorators. For example, if we use the afterload decorator, type of REM is going to call our method after loading the entity by using either the find method of the repository or the query builder. There are also decorators for insert, update, and delete operations. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's see some examples of entity listeners. Okay, here is our phone entity with an ID, a country code, and a phone number. And let's say that I want to set the country code of the phone in the backend before inserting the phone entity in the database. So I'm going to add a new method and I'm going to mark that method using the before insert decorator. So let's do that. I'm going to call this method initialize country code. This will be pretty simple. This is just this dot country code equals to one. And I'm going to add console log, console.log. And this is before insert phone. And I'm going to add the decorator that is before insert. Now let's go to our index file. And here I'm going to create a new instance of the phone, const on equals to new phone. I'm just going to assign the phone number dot number equals to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to create a new repository for the phone. This is phone repository. And in order to create this event, I need to use the save method of the repository. This is connection dot get repository and then to pass the name of the entity class that is phone in this case and here I need to call the save method using this method is going to trigger the before insert event okay pass the phone instance let's go to the database explorer as we can see here we don't have any tables in our database so I'm going to run this, npm run start. And we're gonna see first the console log. And here we have the message that we log in our custom logic here, the method that we mark using the before insert decorator. And if we take a look at the database, let's refresh the tables and let's take a look at the data. And as we can see here, we have the phone number and we have the country code that we set here in our custom logic. Now let's refactor our code to implement the same custom behavior, but using event subscribers. So if we take a look at the ORM config file, here we're gonna find the subscribers property. And here is where we define the location of the event subscribers. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it subscriber. It's the same value that we specify here. Okay, and here I'm going to create a new file. And this will be phone subscriber dot ts. Okay, here I'm going to create a new class, export class phone subscriber and this class needs to implement entity subscriber interface and here we have two options if we want to implement a genetic subscriber for any entity we keep this empty but in this case we are just defining this subscriber for the phone entity so we can pass the entity here so this is phone. And here I'm going to add and here I'm going to add the decorator that is event subscriber. And here I can specify for example the listen to method and here I need to specify the phone entity. So this is return and this is phone. Okay and here I can grab the same method. 
un momento remove this. Okay, I'm going to paste that method here and I need to rename it. So this is before insert. Okay, and here I'm going to receive the event. So this event and the type of this event will be insert event. I need to pass the entity here. This is off. Okay, and here I can set the country code to the entity attached to the event. So this is event dot entity dot country code. And I'm going to set one. And I'm going to remove this. And here we're doing the same that we did before using the entity listener. So let's go to the database explorer. I'm going to remove the table. Okay, and now let's run this. npm run start. Here we have the message before insert phone. That is the message that we are logging here. And if we take a look at the database, let's refresh the tables. Here we have our phone table. And if we take a look at the data, again, we're gonna have the phone number and the country code that we set in our event subscriber here. That's what I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care, bye.